Hey everyone, it's Victor here, and today I thought we would actually go outside and talk a bit. There's a cat whining, uh, whining, meowing at my feet. Oh, I also got a new camera, so I'm trying to figure it out. There he is. There's the boy. So yeah, I thought we'd go for a walk. Um, it snowed uh, this morning. I'm still getting the hang of this amazing new camera, which is the Osmo Pocket which I'm so blessed to have managed to get um, because I had a very, very kind donator on my coffee uh, that managed to fund this for me, so thank you uh, very much. But yeah, I thought we'd go for a walk. It's January, it's cold, and I kind of want to get a few things off my chest and just talk about the January blues because I experienced them. I know a lot of other people experience them, so I just kind of want to, I don't know, just ponder about stuff and just go for a walk because we haven't done that in a while. Let's go outside and face this cat, shall we? Hey kitty. No, you can't come inside. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. Do you want to come with us on our walk? Do you want to come with? So, oh, now Loki's on me. And you're getting me wet. Loki, get down. Yuck. He got me wet. That's just lovely, that's what I wanted in the snow. Uh, Osmo, this way. My face is here. You found me? So, I'm really hoping Loki doesn't just come and attack me, because he likes to do that sometimes. Oh god. What? What? Why, Loki? You're gonna attack my feet. And I really would not appreciate that. I really would not appreciate that. So Loki's decided to follow me, kind of, he's over there. Um, Loki, you don't need to come all the way with me, you know. If I bet you anything he's gonna start attacking me. Here he comes, oh god, run into there. You're coming with me, Loki. <laughs> I have to say though, even though I've not quite got the hang of this camera yet, it is a godsend. It's tiny. It looks like a little, it looks like Wally actually. Um, I'll show you a video of me holding it in my room. And yeah, it means vlogging so much easier. Look at the snow though. And the face track is amazing. Sorry, I'm just kind of like obsessing over my new camera when I should actually be doing a proper video. Oh look, I actually look tall for once. It's a miracle. And suddenly, grass. The light is absolutely gorgeous. And that's where we're going. Into the woods. But yeah, now we're a little further away from civilization. And people won't freak out if I'm talking to myself. Um, I just kind of wanted to ramble a little bit about how I feel in January. Because I know a lot of people relate to this. And 
I don't know if you've heard of the phenomenon of the January blues, but it's definitely a thing. I get affected by it every single year in a different way. But this year, it's basically manifested itself in really low energy and just feeling miserable. And sometimes it's hard to pinpoint why exactly it happens in January, but there's a number of reasons why it happens in January. I think number one is obviously the change in weather. Um, and it's cold. Although I'm, I'm speaking for people in the Northern Hemisphere, maybe entirely different for people that live uh, in the Southern Hemisphere. But I suppose I can only speak from my experience, really, I guess. But then again, it's not just the weather, because it's also after December. And December, no matter what your religion or your beliefs or whatever you do with your life, it's nearly always a festive time of year. Like, people are always, like, doing stuff. There's, like, parties. December's kind of like the party month. You do a lot in December. And then suddenly January comes around and it's just like, well, this is boring and I have to get back to work now. So it's not always to do with weather. Like, it's situational and it's a real thing. And I don't think people should be too cruel to themselves if they're experiencing it. Because I was, like, getting sort of on my case. Like, you shouldn't be feeling like this. You should just do stuff. But I think everyone needs a break. And sometimes Christmas holidays aren't enough. Like, because Christmas holidays are kind of enjoyable. Whereas, like, you know, you get to January and suddenly it's, like, reality check. That's the time you need a break the most, to be honest. And I know that's not an option for many people. I know that you can't just, like, stop going to work and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, I'm lucky because I don't really have a normal job. I guess I can't really call YouTube my job yet, but I'm trying to call it my job. Um, but I think everyone just needs to take it easy in January. I think that's the secret. I think if you're trying to push yourself too much in a month where you should probably be hibernating, like, I think I'm actually secretly a hedgehog or a bear. Um, bear pride. Uh, so, yeah. I just... January's hard. But, do you know what? We can appreciate it for what it is. And I suppose, like, in the depths of winter, what it really represents is kind of rebirth. And that sounds super spiritual. But I, I think it's true. Like, I believe in that. I think you can appreciate winter in a way where it's like, well, it's like promises of what's to come in the summer and the spring. Because despite appearances, I actually like the sun. Um, I know you wouldn't believe that, even, if, even though I'm telling you that. I most definitely get, like, seasonal affective disorder. Like, where basically that's like, you just get depressed in the winter. Um, I definitely get that. So, I do need the sun to feel happy, I think. And that's just, like, literally scientific, because that's just vitamin D, and vitamin D makes you happy. Fundamentally. Um, and that's what the sun gives you. So, that's why we miss the sun, because we're not getting our vitamin D. So, it's as simple as that, really. I'm really afraid I'm gonna slip. Oh, that's my finger. I am really not good at operating this camera yet. I need to get better, but it is beautiful. I love it so much. Wow, look at those trees. The stabilization on this camera is like, holy moly. It's nice to be on the forest on my own though. Well, you're with me, but you know, you don't say much. This face track is incredible. Can't escape, can't escape the lens. Yeah, so overall, January, not my favorite month. Wouldn't really recommend, um, would prefer another month, but hey, we gotta get through it. Because that's the thing about life is you don't want good times all the time because then they wouldn't be good times because you would have no way to distinguish them from the bad times. So that is one way of looking at it. Part of me really wants to make, like, New Year's resolutions, but a large part of me doesn't want to make them because it 
can kind of be unhealthy. I think it's nice to have like a vague idea of what you want to do. But I think if it's too specific, then you're just going to be disappointed because no one can achieve all of those things. If you can deal with that, if you can deal with maybe not achieving all of those like huge goals, then that's fine. But I think for me, it might be quite damaging. So I try to sort of just keep an open mind. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes. I'm just hoping I get some more energy because, you know, to be honest with you, I'm just excited to actually plan some more actual films. Like, not just short films, but maybe things I can try and get funding for. I mean, who knows? I mean, that's always been my dream. Like, I've told you so many times, filmmaking is basically my thing and... Like, I love it so much. And I just want to be able to express my creativity <sighs> through that. It's the one true way I feel like I can express my creativity is through filmmaking. Oh, there's an eagle. <gasps> it's a buzzard, actually. But still, that counts. Did you see him? I hope we saw him. But this year, I would really encourage you to start thinking big for your dreams and for your life because... Like, when else are you going to do it? You may as well start now. You know, even if you're taking tiny, tiny, tiny steps every day, you may as well do something towards what you want to do with your life because your life is meant to be enjoyable. You're not meant to just, like, accept this job that you hate and suffer and then die. Like, that's not what you're meant to do with your life. So, you know, if you're expressing yourself and working towards your passion, whatever that might be, then you're doing life right. And I honestly think that no amount of January blues should stop you from kind of thinking about the future. I mean, even if this is a hibernation period, if we do have to just sit down and go, well, it's miserable outside, I don't really want to go outside today, I don't want to work towards my dreams, well, then, like, sit inside next to the fire, get warm, have a cup of tea, and then just, like, think about all the stuff you're going to do when the weather's nice. Like, isn't that... That's a way of planning things right it's an enjoyable way you don't have to be like physically active you can actually just be planning things in your head i have to tell you i've been very hyped to show you the beautiful countryside that i live in in 4k and now i can i mean you might not have a 4k monitor or whatever but like it's there it's in 4k guys um i tell you what i'm not so hype about is you guys seeing my face in 4k because my skin ain't that good yet. Like, maybe, maybe sometime. But my face in 4K, that's a disturbing time. It's very Instagram filter right there. That flare. I'm living my best life. I have no problems at all. That's another thing, actually, I want to talk about is nothing makes the January blues worse than when you look at other people's lives on Instagram or on YouTube or wherever and you go like, oh, I wish I was living their life. Their life is perfect. Like, no one's life is perfect. Like, maybe you're watching this and going, oh, I wish I was Victor. I wish I was walking in the snow, looking like Damien from Dream Daddy. But actually, I've got issues. Like, literally, like, was it two days ago, three days ago? I was, like, crying my eyes out, thinking my life was over. And just worrying about money, worrying about my future, worrying about, like, literally anything and everything. My health, my eventual surgery, like, which I haven't had any news on yet, so that's fun. Um, no one's life is perfect, so don't get more January bluesy dreaming about other people's lives that aren't yours, because everyone has issues, basically. Just so damn gorgeous. Look at the mountains. And right over there is our field and our forest. And you, I don't know if you can see, but Willow is right at the top of the hill there. Or it might be Gypsy. I can't really, it's a it's vague horse shape. So it's, it's either one of them, but that's our field. So yeah, we live in a beautiful part of the world. Are you enjoying your hay? Are you enjoying sitting in your chair? Oh my god, look at my boots. <laughs> okay, snow's not coming off those. That's fine. It's 
perfectly all right. I'll just keep walking and pretend there's no issue. Yeah, my feet are heavy. I'm getting quite cold, so I think we should start heading back home. Because I'm getting a sniffy nose. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see that behind me. If it'll expose for my face or not. It's got face track on, so it won't show you, but you can kind of see it. But yeah. Oh. I can't believe it's January again. It feels like 2018 went so fast. It's unreal. I literally am just playing about with this camera. Oh god, my... My mouth is going frozen. I cannot speak. I'm getting that cold. That's why I'm heading back, but yeah. Apologies if my camera just does weird stuff, because I'm just like... It's so cool. I love it so much. Uh... Oh. It says subject lost. It can't find my face. Apparently this isn't a face. Find my face, damn it. It's right here. Can you see? Hello? Oh, good. You're following me, right? Now? Yeah? Good? Okay. What was I gonna say? Yeah, the point of this video was... <laughs> what's going on? Okay, I think it's tracking my face now. Yeah. Um, the point of this video is basically like... Don't worry if you're feeling kind of like deflated this time of year because I'm feeling the same and I'm finding it hard to be creative and to keep going. But, you know, you kind of have to allow yourself that time because you're not going to be creative if you don't give yourself thinking time to really like come up with good ideas. God, I'm sniffing. I want to apologize for all the like really close shots you're getting in 4K of my face because that is really disturbing. So I'm really sorry for that. Also, my hand is about to freeze off. I think I'm gonna have to stop filming for a bit. But yeah, I'm honestly realizing that one of the main reasons why I love doing YouTube is I have a platform where I can talk to people and try to help people. And that's kind of become a new dream. Like, obviously, I love filmmaking, but making videos like this where I can actually just like talk about things and like really openly and that hopefully help other people you know that's something I really enjoy so yeah oh tree just tried to attack me there it's like that scene in Snow White I'm too ADHD to vlog I was in the middle of saying something quite deep and I just got distracted by a tree so uh yeah that's uh that's me for you but what was I saying yes um yeah I'm just like people come up to me and or comment on my stuff and say that I've helped them and that genuinely is so inspiring and it makes me want to keep doing it so yeah snow feet in the snow yeah someone someone's obviously been sledging uh cuz there's a whole big sledgy line all the way down there looks like a fun time looks like they went all the way uh, from there. Wish that was me, I love sledging. I should love to do like snowboarding. If I'm not mistaken, the clouds in the distance there look kind of snow cloudy. Whatever the, is it, what, what do you call a cloud that's a snow cloud? Nimbus, Nimbus 2000? So yeah, we're almost home now. I kind of want to take pictures in the snow. I think I might do that before I leave. It's just too cool to have like the goth aesthetic and the snow, so <laughs> I'm gonna do that for my Instagram. I got back home, making a cup of tea, and then, oh, it's got face track, so I can't turn it around. Wait, hold on. Wait, if you come into the frame. There you are. Another oh, face. Big bear. Big bear. No one will understand that reference. Okay. Oh, subject. subject lost. You are just a forehead.
Anywho, anywho, having tea, having a, drinking the tea, no, papa. It got very, very, very cold. And my hands started to freeze off, Dan. It looks cold. Because I was holding the camera up and, you know, hands freeze off when you expose them to the snow. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Fake news. And there was like no one there, so I didn't get like stared at or anything, which was nice because I thought like, not only will they stare at me because I look like a heckin' big goth, but, you know. You're also talking to yourself. I'm also talking to myself with a tiny little robot in my hand. So, you know, that might attract attention, but it was fine. It was just me, me, you, and this five foot well you built between us. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs now and drink my tea. Um, hey, Osmo, I'm over here. I'm over here. You found me yet? That, there I am. There I am. You got me. You got me, partner! Oh, I can't... I haven't got a free hand to open the curtain. Give me a sec. Can you see that? It's like... Thin sleet. It's like almost hail. It's like that kind of frozen rain you get, actually. Oh, I'm glad I made it back home before that started. That would have been... That would have been a... That would have been a fun, 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 fun time. Um... I want to make more videos where we just kind of talk about stuff because I think it's really healing just to kind of talk about life, you know? Well, at least I think it does. Leave a comment below if you like it because I, I, I'm pretty sure people have before on the previous ones I've done, but just to make sure, is this something you find deplorable or adorable? Deplorable or adorable? There you go. Those are your two options. So yeah, January might be a bit of a time, but I think you can get through it. We're going to get through it together. We always do. We've got this far, so... We'll be fine. You just have to get through it. It's nearly February, then March, April. When it gets to summer, we'll be flying. But yeah, thanks for taking a walk with me today. It was fun. I hope we can do it again. Maybe when it's less cold, because my hand is still cold, even though I've been inside for like half an hour now, so... Just don't go outside, kids. But anyway, for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you very soon. See if Osmo will follow me. Oh, he does. Oh, he does. Oh, he's doing a good job. Okay, goodbye. Oh, subject lost. That ended well.